Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we're gonna to be doing another So Susan Color Curate unboxing, unbagging, if you will. Um, this is by the brand So Susan Cosmetics, and I think, I might be wrong, but I think it's just like So Susan brand products and then like other brands that are either affiliated with So Susan or like parent company kind of thing. I'm not 100% sure, but they, uh, the two bags that I've done so far, this will be the second, are all the same brands. Yes, I've already seen in here, this is the second time I'm filming this video, I apologize, but there was way too much background noise the first time I filmed it, so I had to redo it. So I, if I don't seem surprised, that's why. I'm sorry, but um, it is a really, really cute bag. It's $20.95 a month, which is such a weird amount, but that's what it is. And you get four full-size, I think, products. I think they're always full-size. They have been recently anyway. And the bag itself, they do include as one of the products. So you get five if you count the bag, but it's really, really cute. It's like a periwinkle color with stars and a sloth friends all over it. They're all wearing headphones, listening to some music, and they've got like some boom boxes on there. So I really, really like the bag. I think it's really cute. So diving in, it looks like this. And here is a little card. It matches the bag. It says Color Curate, Curated Color Focus Beauty Subscription. They are saying that this is a limited edition makeup bag worth $12. So that is the first product that you get. Next is this little guy. Um, this is by Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics, which is a same brand that we got last time. It's vegan, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, hyperallergenic, and non-comedogenic. <laughs> I cannot say that word. But it's cute packaging. It's like a little, it's in the shade Flash, which is my favorite superhero, fun fact. Making those same jokes that I made the first time I filmed this. It's got a little black packaging here, and then you pop it open and it has a sifter. It has kind of spilled out. There was like a little seal on it, but I obviously took that off the first time I filmed this, so I'm sorry. It looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, it looks like it's gonna be white, but it actually has like a pale yellow green shift to it, but it is really, really pretty. I like it a lot. I think I will actually get some use out of this. I don't normally reach for like loose glitter like this, but this one's pretty. I think it'd be really pretty like all over a darker shade or like in the center of the eye for like a halo effect. I think that'd be pretty. This retails for $18. Um, don't know that I would pay that for it, but the nice thing about these is they're all like really nice ingredients and um, they're vegan moment oil, that kind of thing. So they are good brands. The next thing is this little guy here. This is called the Lip Syrup by Trifle Cosmetics. This is another brand that we received last time. It seems to be like three brands, Trifle Cosmetics, Jelly Pong Pong, and then So Susan Cosmetics is what I've received so far. This is a high shine pigmented lip stain in the shade Lolly. Super cute packaging. It's got a little gingerbread dude, some like candy, lollipops, and a fruitcake. Really cute, very similar to the color I'm wearing now. But this is a high pigmented lip stain. So it's not a liquid lip like I'm wearing. But I'm excited to try this. I don't really care for the way it smells. It smells very, I don't even know the word, like cherry syrup almost, but like not in a good way. <laughs> um, this is vegan, no parabens, no phthalates, no gluten. So it's sugar, maple, and vanilla extract. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. It's hyperallergenic and non-commuted. <laughs> Comediogenic, um, and it is of course cruelty free. I think everything in here is vegan and cruelty free. I think that's like the subscription. The next thing, oh, that retails for twelve dollars. By the way, this retails for twenty two. This is by So Susan Cosmetics, so the um, brand company of this. Super cute packaging, and this is vegan, it's 80% water based, it's 90% natural, no parabens, no phthalates, no mineral oil, hypoallergenic, non comedogenic Eventually by the end of this video I'll be able to say that word, that was a really loud car, I'm sorry. But this is the Afterglow Luminizer. I think the shade name is Afterglow or this is the only shade they have, I don't really know. It is really pretty, yes I've already squeezed it, you can see, <laughs> but it's really pretty. I'm not somebody who reaches for like liquid highlights too often, but this one I could get down with because it's really pretty and I think it would be nice under foundation. How many times can I say it's really pretty? Oh, it smells so good too. It smells like chocolate, like cocoa or chocolate. I wonder if that, 
There is water, glycerin, aloe, something, aloe vera extract. Um, this is really hard to read if you guys can see, it's like metallic. Gum, fragrance, da 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 da. I don't see any cocoa in here. Vegetable derivative. I don't know. Cocoa vegetable? I don't think so. But it is really, really pretty. And I think it would look nice under foundation. Or it would look really pretty on top of the skin as well. I just don't really do that. But I think maybe if I did that and then set it with a powder, it would be fine. So I might try that. Okay. And the last thing in here is this guy. I did read bubble wrap it, but it did come bubble wrapped. I have not actually swatched this yet. I did stop before I got to that part. So this is the Subtropical Palette in Utopia by So Susan Cosmetics. It retails for $45, which seems like kind of a lot. Um, it's got eight talc-free, intensely vibrant eyeshadows and modern shades of bronzy teals, forest greens, ocean blues, and opulent golds. They remind us of a sumptuous rainforest. Sumptuous rainforest? That's a weird way to describe a rainforest. The formulation is further enriched with Astil, is Astil, hexapeptide 30, a peptide that is used to um, help reduce the appearance of skin fatigue as well as hyaluronic acid and microalgae extract to assist in maintaining the elasticity of your skin. That's great, <laughs> especially for like a, uh, what? What is this? Eyeshadow. I don't think that like many of my eyeshadows have like skin ingredients in them. It is vegan, talc-free, gluten-free, no mineral oil, paraben-free, phthalate-free, with acetyl hexapeptide, 30, hyaluronic acid, microalgae extract, hypoallergenic, and non-comedogenic. So, great, great ingredients. Really pretty packaging. I love this green. This is, like, my favorite color. And they got some parrots on there. Here's the disappointing part. <laughs> when you open it, here's the packaging. That's so boring. Like, compared to this... I think it would have been really cool if they wanted to do like a black and white thing, if they mirrored this in black and white on here. I think that would have been really pretty, but but this is kind of boring to me, but that's okay. It's not about the packaging, it's about what's in here. But speaking of the packaging, I also don't care for this. Um, you got a little like card in here that has the shade names. If you guys have seen any of my eyeshadow reviews ever that have these things, I hate these things. Um, because I like the shadow names to be on here. But these shadows themselves look really pretty. We will swatch some of them. Of Ooh, of course. Super buttery. I'm swatching both of the purples. I'm sorry. Ooh, okay. Green. That's pretty too. Blue. They're very pastel-y, which I love pastels. What are the shades that I just swatched? We've got Mo Monsoon. Yes. Which is a duochrome. Fauna is a lilac prism. Equal equator, the blue is an ocean blue haze, and evergreen is lit green. Let's swatch these. Ooh, these are pretty. This is going to be a palette that you would have to use in conjunction with another palette. Well, I mean, maybe not, not if you can make it work, but me personally, I feel like I would have to use this with another palette because there's not really any matte shades in here. Okay, this pink shade is called. Thermo, it's a peach foil, so I guess it's not pink. Um, I don't know what I swatched. This orange one is called Amazon, it's a coral duochrome. The next one is called Cloud Forest, it's a pink glisten. And this one is called Biodome, it's a deep gilded rose. I like that they give you descriptions, that's nice. So yeah, this is really pretty, it's very, very, um, understated I guess is the word like it's not like bam in your face pigmentation but they're really nice they feel very buttery so I am definitely excited to try these I for sure will in like a future video I kind of want to do like a full face of vegan makeup so let me know if you want to see that because I would be down for sorry, it sorry I got a call and I have no idea where I left off so we're gonna do our quick little recap um the eyeshadow palette I'm down for. I don't know that I would pay $45 for this. That seems like kind of a stretch, but it looks really nice. I don't love the packaging, but it seems nice. I will definitely try it out and let you guys know for sure. But it's nice. I really like the bag. It's super cute. I'm actually excited for this one. And it's not like too huge, but it's not small either. This might be something, let me see. Yeah, this might be something that I would put my like makeup brushes in when I travel. So I like that. The 
lip products I don't know about yet. I'm not like crazy on the smell and I don't know if I would like the formulation of it just because I've never tried like a, I've never worn a lip stain, I don't think. So we'll see, I'll try it. The highlighter I am excited to try. Um, I think it's gonna be really cool under my foundation and this little guy I like. I'm gonna be honest, I probably won't use this much just because whenever I get things like this, I'm always like, oh yeah, that's really cute, I'll use it. And then I just never do for whatever reason. I tend to reach for like shadow palettes instead of like little guys like this, but I'm still excited and I'll still try it out. So that's everything I got this month. Let me know if you guys get the subscription, what you think about it. Like, do you like these brands? Have you used them? That kind of thing. And don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.